Welcome to New Possibilities. I speak truth to power without fear. So this morning I received a comment to my video reviewing the movie Get Out. And this person asked me, they said, well, why are no black male YouTubers talking about the fact that Jordan Peele is biracial and about the fact that he's married to a white woman? And I'll just say this for myself, you know, I had no idea that he was biracial. I had no idea that he was married to a white woman. So that's the reason why I did not bring that issue up. I haven't really followed Jordan Peele like that. You know, I watched him back in the day when he was on Mad TV. Um, and I saw a couple of his comedy skits, but other than that, I didn't really follow him like that. So I didn't know about his personal life or anything like that. And usually I'm not into celebrities and their personal life. So that's the reason why I didn't raise that issue. And I don't think that the fact that he's married to a white woman or the fact that he's biracial, I don't think that that affects the film or the message of the film in any kind of negative way. So I still view the film the same way I did before. The fact that he's biracial or that he's married to a white woman doesn't change that. I think the message of that film is compelling. I think that it was a powerful film. I think that it was a very entertaining film and nothing about his personal life changes that. So that's the first thing. And I'm not one of these people that dig into people's personal background. And I find it interesting that, um, that people do that, like they feel the need to find out who somebody's married to or what their background is when they watch a film, when they critique a film. Why can't they just watch the film and it, interpret the film on its face instead of like going behind the scenes to figure out who this person is, you know, who are they married to and all this and that to find some kind of hidden agenda and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, that's what I think about that. And also, um, you know, I'll say this. I think that because of his personal experience um, dating and marrying a white woman, he was able to draw upon that when he did this film. He was able to probably draw upon those personal experiences of meeting a white family for the first time and draw upon those interactions. And it, I think that it probably did color how he presented this film. You know, perhaps when he met his, his wife's um, family, he had a similar type of experience of, you know, the white liberal trying to pretend to be cool, trying to um, overcompensate and, you know, try to use slang and all that kind of stuff and talk about how they support Obama and all that kind of stuff in order to appeal, appear more uh, friendly and non-racist and all that kind of stuff. So I think that it's possible that he may have um, just drew on that personal experience of dating a white woman. And I think that, um, you know, perhaps he has some apprehension about that situation and perhaps that inspired him to to do this kind of film. You know, this whole message of whether or not you can trust white people, period. I mean, so maybe that inspired his his um, his outlook. Um, so that's one thing. And then this whole thing about him being biracial. Again, when I see him, you know, I just see a black man. I had no idea that he's biracial. He just looks like any other light skinned brother as far as I'm concerned. And, you know, frankly, that. Um, validates again my point in that video that I did those two videos that I did about whether or not biracial people are black society views them as black and they treat them as black and he's a prime example and the criticism that he received from this film you know people these white races you know these white people are saying that the film is racist and all that kind of stuff and they see him as a black person so again that confirms my point about that issue but um yeah, I mean, I, I don't think that it affects the quality of the film at all. You know, the fact that he's married to a white woman. 
And I think that it is, um, you know, again, interesting and it's odd that people may um, view a movie negatively based upon that, based upon the fact that he's married to a white woman. Just like the whole thing with the Nate Parker um, Birth of a Nation film. You know, for me, that doesn't, I view the individual and the film as two separate entities. I evaluate them separately. So in evaluating this film, I evaluate it separately. As people know from the videos that I posted on this channel, you know, I prefer that black people date and marry black people. But I'm not gonna like have some kind of adverse reaction to a film based on somebody's personal relationship choices. I'm not going <laughs> to boycott a film or change my views about a film because of that. So, you know, that's the thing that I'll say about that. Um, but, you know, I'll just say this before I close. I just think that it's, um, it's kind of odd how some black women, like, are, they celebrate like for instance, for instance, they'll celebrate um, Serena Williams getting engaged to some white dude. They'll celebrate some a black woman being on Bachelorette with all these white guys and all that kind of stuff. Um, but when a director happens to be in a relationship with a a white woman some of these same women will use that as a reason to criticize a film that is separate and apart from that individual and his personal life. So that's what I have to say about that. Um, tell me what you think about this film. You know, <laughs> not just the film, but what do you think about that whole issue? You know, this issue of Jordan Peele being biracial and this issue of him being married to a white woman and you know before I close out this video I also just want to address these people who are saying that the film is racist the film is not racist speaking out against racism does not make somebody a racist this film was about some people who were racist towards black people who in fact um, you know stole black bodies and you know it exploited black people that's what the film was about it wasn't making a, a statement about all white people it was talking about those particular white people so i mean that's my thing you know that's what i'll say about that you know often anytime somebody attacks racism when a black person fiercely attacks racism white society often accuses them of racism for simply speaking out against racism. And that's simply designed to silence people, to silence people, to prevent them from speaking out against racism. So those are my thoughts. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.